So, hey ho there, manga fans, and I decided that I would do a segment on um, my costume. My costume was Alphonse Elric from Fullmetal Alchemist. Uh, I built the costume entirely out of um, cardboard, and I just used knee pads for the knees and gloves, and also paper. Uh, this is the worn, torn version. It's the day after Halloween. Um, I went trick or treating. I'm so cool. I love candy though. Like, see my mountain of candy? Yeah, half of that's gone. How am I this skinny? Don't ask me. Okay, so what it basically is is cardboard and st just stuff like that. And, um, I saw this guy's video on YouTube and he built armor out of, I think he said aluminum plating. And I had the same idea. But I just didn't have enough time to um, to start making it out of that. Uh, now that um, Halloween is over, I'll probably start making it. Uh, I'm still not too sure if I want to make the whole thing out of it. I'll probably end up doing it just because phew, I'll have nothing else to do. So um, this is what it is. I have it laid out on the floor for you. Ta -da! Okay, so these right here are the shin pads. Uh, they just go on your shins, obviously. That's what I call shin pads. Um, I made it out of duct tape. Um, lots of duct tape. Tons of duct tape. In fact, I used three rolls of duct tape on this whole entire thing. Um, so this is made out of cardboard. I went to work. I work at Jack's Drive-In, which is basically like uh, an ice cream place. So I stole a whole bunch of um, cone boxes, which is what the back is made out of, and uh, Cisco boxes, because they do sell burgers also. And if you live where I live and you know what Jack's driving is, woo! And um, I just basically taped it together and I used spray paint. I used expensive spray paint, actually. That's my Al pumpkin. Anyway, so Krylon I used. Uh, it says right on the back here that it is used for paper products and stuff. So, I mean, I was talking to my dad, and he said that it was expensive spray paint, and I shouldn't have bought it, but I did anyway. So, <sighs> back to this. Um, the knee pads. We're just going to go section by section. The knee pads I bought at a thrift shop because I decided that I wasn't going to make it pure out of cardboard because it would... It wouldn't look too good. Uh, no, these do not look like anything like his knee pads. However, it was getting close to Halloween. It was like a month before Halloween, and I knew this was going to take me longer than a month, so I decided, you know, I'd just do this. And, um, I went for it, and I won the costume competition at my school, and I was pretty happy about that. Um, it went by grades, so like 9 to 12, and I won the grade 12 part. It's pretty cool, pretty sweet. Uh, I spray painted the caps. I did not spray paint the material surrounding it because I decided that I wasn't going to waste that much spray paint because it was like the third last day that I had because my dad lives uh, a little bit further away from me. I would say 20 minutes away from me. So I went to his house and spray painted my gear and uh, I didn't think I'd have the chance to go back because of work and he works and stuff like that. Okay. These are the upper part, okay, this part, I don't know, I forget what it's called, it escapes me right now, yes, this is a Full Metal Alchemist pocket watch, I'm just a loser like that, but, um, they go up here, and, um, basically how I attach them is I have belt loops right here, I didn't wear a belt, I wore, like, tighter jeans, so I didn't, you know, run around without pants on. Uh, I tied rope to the belt loops, and in the holes in here, this one still has its rope, I unfortunately lost one of the ropes, uh, they would go into here, and they would attach to the top of my pants, so I could pull my pants up and adjust it and do whatever, and also, on the back of these, uh, oh, it's on that one, um, I attached that to my very back belt loop, and yeah, and they're falling. That's good. They're really worn right now. Um, I wore them for three days, the day before Halloween, Halloween, and um, 
after the day after Halloween. So yeah, so that would be today, I guess. And uh, I will show you the chest piece last because I love it so much. Okay, we're gonna go to the arms now. Um, I guess in the way. This is oh, that goes somewhere else. There. This is the very top of my arm. Um, I'll show you the chest piece in a second. Uh, it just goes on the very top of my arm. It slips on. It's very small because I ran out of uh, cardboard at the very last minute that I had. So, yeah. They're very small. And that's the other one. And my mountain of candy and my sewing kit and stuff. Woo! And so, that's the top. Uh, this is probably I am so proud of these because I thought these were going to be the hardest part. This is the lower arm part, I guess. I was going to use pads for my elbows, by the way, but uh, I just didn't have room on my arms. Uh, definitely going to keep that in mind next time I uh, build this. I will be building it again, uh, hopefully out of the aluminum plating. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> anyway, so um. This is the lower arm piece. Uh, as you can see, I bought um, duct tape from the dollar store that was white. I would not recommend that because it chips off so easy. Like, see? And yeah, so this was actually the easiest part of the whole thing. I thought it was going to be harder. But um, surprisingly, it wasn't too bad. I forget which one. I think it's this one that was the best one. But we'll check the other one. No, it's this one. This one was the best one that I built, just because it was. This was the most durable one. Uh, didn't even move, you know. And now we're gonna go to the hand pieces. I don't know if they had brown gloves or black gloves. I kept seeing other cosplay pictures, and they had black and brown. And I was like, what the hell? So I just went with black because I had black, and I just um, took the cone box pieces from this and I made little pieces for my arms and I just duct taped them on see they're wearing off already I'll fix that and the same with the other one and then finally we have the chest piece now the cones were made purely out of paper uh, because I ran out of cardboard and I didn't work for like three weeks and I wasn't gonna go in there and be like oh hey I just want your boxes. So, uh, I decided that I would just make them out of paper. I'm just going to bring this over here so we can focus a little bit more on the details of it. No, I don't have the drawing here uh, that feels his soul into the armor. I know. Tragic. Um, I need somewhere with good lighting. Let's slap her here. Okay. <coughs> uh... This was not the hardest part to make. The hardest part to make was the legs. Uh, I took about a week on the legs. Um, it was where I started uh, originally. And yeah, so this. Okay, uh, this is the. So what I did was I duct taped and spray painted and duct taped more. So this was just the piece that goes over his chest. I will have pictures of me wearing this at the end. I've taken a couple pictures. The mask is not up to par. Uh, it was still being constructed, so we just kind of threw it together really lightly. I'll show it to you in two seconds. Uh, so the cones are squished because of the busy hallways in my school. Uh, and also people that are jerks that decide to squish my cones. Um, so yeah, uh, these are made out of paper, I just duct taped them onto this. Uh, how I got the cardboard to bend the way I wanted it, like this, was I just rolled it up, like a piece of paper. I was like, how am I going to do this? And my friend was like, well, why don't you just, like, roll it. So I did. And it turned out wonderful. Uh, the top ones are probably in the best condition to show you how it is. Um, Yeah. Uh, the side pieces, which are now drooping, which makes me sad, but, um, the side pieces are made out of, um, shoot, what do you call those? The potting, the, the pot things, the, uh, 